Now, well, throw on your leather chaps and comb your 70s stash because it's time for a vintage oh, motorcycle. Oh, yes. Our very own gearhead, Julissa Ortiz, live looking for a new <laughs> ride to cruise the streets on. Have you ever been called a gearhead? I mean... I have never been called a gearhead, but there's a first time for everything. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I love it. You guys, and I am telling you, I am like such a scaredy cat when it comes to motorcycles, but do you see how beautiful they are? Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. such amazing, amazing pieces. Uh, and, and they're going to be here this weekend, and you can come out and check it out, too. We're right here in Dixon. Good morning to you, Mr. Mark. Good morning. All right, so Mark is with the Fort Sutter chapter of the, of the Antique the, Motorcycle yes. Club of America. I was like totally <laughs> cheating looking at the sign. Yes. So uh, these, I mean, these pieces, these motorcycles, they are old, but man, they are in pristine shape because you guys put so much time and love into these to, to, for, for something like this, for a show like this. You have lots of time and effort yeah. and you, and you have to find higher. the treasure and yes. this is where the treasure's at. Yes, absolutely. All right. You I'm totally to loving this one because I just love the colors. This one, my friends, is called a knucklehead. All right. What, <laughs> what year is this one, Mark? This is a 19... 47. 47. Yes. All right. And now, why is it called a knucklehead? The shape of these cylinder heads is what they refer as. They kind of got that knuckle yes. shape, and that's where that word came from, that, that right. name came from. Oh, my gosh. The other interesting part, I like to see how these motorcycles evolve, right? It's like they're like bicycles, right? And then they finally get a little beefier, like this one. Yeah, well, and yeah, this is more of the scooter style, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, the bikes get bigger and bigger, yeah. and then it turns into the, the BLs, which yeah. is like 34. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then uh, this is a 1971, which is a shovel head. And a sho wait, okay, why a shovel head? Shovel head, shape of the cylinder head type. Ah. That's where that name came from. Okay, okay. And then uh, this one here is 1925, and this one actually was called an F head. Oh, an F head. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just a <I> term. <laughs> I was like, oh man, do we need the delay button? But you see, all of, all the inter the internal parts of the engine are on the outside still oh, in 1925. Yeah. They haven't even put the parts back in the engine yet. Right, right. Oh my goodness! I love this color. Yeah, and then we have these beautiful BMWs yeah. and this this teal green and the, this. Um, this one here with the sidecar is oh to God. die for. I love yes. the I love the sidecar on this one. Oh my! So this is just like a little taste. You're going to see very unique motorcycles dating back, you know, um, a long it, time. We we've, we've had 1890s bikes yeah. all the way up to our 1987 is our cutoff right now. Oh my gosh! Okay, so we're here. The other cool thing is back there when you see that little building. So this is even though it's a show, it's also an opportunity for people to really show off what they've been doing and be judged. Exactly. We do national judging. You can bring your, find your bike up and yeah. get judged nationally and they, they do it down right. to the nuts and bolts to right. see how perfect you've gotten your bike. Color matters. Yeah. Everything has to be correct to be, to get your score. Yeah. Because there are bragging rights on the line. Here. E exactly. <laughs> yep. And, uh, People, uh, a nothing like a hundred point bike right. to to show your effort and what you've done. Oh my gosh! Okay, can we just talk about this here? This this artwork. I mean, it looks like artwork here on oh, this yeah. piece. Yeah, you know the, the some of the styles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to get into that. Uh, so, see some of the younger guys come mm -hmm. back with these chopper style bikes right. and and the older paint jobs. Uh, uh, old is gold. Old is gold. Old I is like gold. that saying. That needs to be on a shirt. Okay, so tell us all the details so people can come out and check it out. Yeah, we're uh, 7 to 5 today. Um, tomorrow, same 7 till. It dies out a little earlier tomorrow, so come out early. Yeah. Uh, free. Come out. It's a perfect Father's Day weekend thing yeah. to do. Free parking. Right. Uh, we just asked for a donation at the gate if you can help us. Uh, um, and you never know what you'll see. It's a perfect family thing to come out and check out the old motorcycles. Yeah. and. Um, show and the kids what where this stuff came from. Where they came from, a little history lesson. The other cool thing, it's, it's also a swap meet. So on this side, you see all kinds of tables set up with old parts, right? Because if they are restoring these, you got to find those original parts. We're going to take a little little walkie walk through there, and that'll show you that coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. I am telling you some incredible pieces, and also even older bikes than the ones I just showed you. What was the one? An um, 1814? A 1914, 1914 Henderson over here will show you later. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? So we're going to show that to you. That's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. But again, this is all happening uh, through Saturday. Yep, Saturday till till Saturday afternoon is when it starts to die out. Okay. People start to get fade out and to get tired. Because <laughs> they want to go right off into the sunset. Yeah, well, they want to take all their treasure home and start building yeah. it back together, y'all. <laughs> I finally found that part. I found the part I've been waiting for. All right. Okay, there. We will check in with you coming up in the 10 o'clock hour for now. Back over to you. Well, if you want to take up some more
more time. There's still about two and a half minutes left in this Freebird song. <laughs> 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 it did not even finish all of Freebird. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Lisa.